But we're here in your shop. At the East County Hot Rod Shop. Okay, let's see the shop. Well, here it is. Pulling the transmission out of Dr. Pepper today. That is some dark transmission fluid if I've seen some. Oh yeah, it's got 715,000 miles on it. All right, do you have any guesses for the weight of the car? We're up in a big swing and we're about to practice install maneuvering. There's the warning. All right, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Sam and I, we are here pulling the transmission out of Dr. Pepper today at the Christmas tree race. I couldn't get it back into first. Well, I lost my race against Clean and I hurt my transmission. Listen. We got a little bit of time before sick week coming up, so I want to get the transmission rebuilt. It was built by myself in my first time doing it, and it's not working exactly like I want it to. So we got a little issue with the trans brake, a little issue of getting it in a first, so we got to get it right before we start putting a lot of miles on the car. But we're here in your shop. At the East County Hot Rod Shop. That's what this is known as here. All right. That's for all my hot rod club right here. <laughs> it, and it is neat. It's a project he's been working on for a while, and uh, it's really coming together. You've got LED lights. You've got oh, a couple, yes, couple lifts. Mm -hmm and he's starting to get all of his tools and machines in here. So we'll give you guys a look around because I know you guys have been asking a lot about Sam. So we're gonna kind of show you guys what he's got going on today. You wanna tell the people a little bit about your truck? Cause it has, it's kind of neat, right? Oh, I purchased this vehicle at the end of 1999. Brand new, right? Brand new, down at Sunset Chevrolet down in Sarasota and uh, used it for a company truck forever. Yeah. It is 2021, getting ready to be 22. And someone asked me the other day, said, how many miles you got on it? I said, all about 715 and they said no I said, well yeah it's got 715,000 miles on it wow it's still doing fine still got the original engine up there the original in yep. ls engine right and i did have to change the transmission at 125 but you've had the same transmission since 125,000 yeah. miles and i put a three uh water pumps one alternator just regular stuff changed the oil wow. 10, miles and it's down in down such great shape i mean look at the paint on that <laughs> You can't find one like this, right? So it just, uh, it's been a faithful servant, it sure has. That's awesome. People are gonna love it. I love it. And then someone's gonna say, no, it's not got that, so let's do this. Let's turn, <laughs> let's turn the switch on. Yep. Should you show them? There it is. I said 715. It's 714,252. There it enough. is. Amazing. How neat. There it is. I didn't see it. Love it. What a beautiful truck. It's dirty underneath the hood, but... There's barely any chips, chips in it from... For that. Dirty under the hood, dirty okay. Under She's dirty. Oh, uh, okay. But, you know, the thing of it is, run on, baby. Run on. Okay. <laughs> run, run on. on. <laughs> She's doing you well. And, it, you know, the one reason... I left this thing on here. Yeah. K and N said it's good for a million miles, and I'm going to see. Okay. So every once in a while, I just take this thing off, wash it out, back. The it filter. Out. It's the original yeah, filter. This, well, the one. That, it's a K and N. You know the reason. Right. That big noise box thing up here. So I took that out, put this K and N on there, and they said, "Oh, it's good for a million miles." How long did you, ago did you put that in? I, it didn't have a hundred miles on it when I put that. Oh. On there, so yeah. <laughs> That's great. So I had to put an alternator here on it. And That's okay. And a couple of water pumps and and uh one air condition so there we go you're doing well and i just had it out to texas for thanksgiving so jump on the road go 17 hours one way wow there it is. amazing love it all right now we're waiting on sam's waiting on the electrical inspection so we've got this incredible setup with a generator <laughs> to get power to the shop we're a little illegal right now but it worked so. <laughs> Get it, baby. Choke the right. If you guys remember on race week when I had how to use that guy's shop to pull the transmission out of the car, I bought him an impact and said thank you for letting me use the shop. This is his three ace impact. So as a thank you, I bought him a new Milwaukee one. Oh. I'll be here this week. <laughs> Man, right. you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. I mean, look at it. It's all zip tied together to keep the battery on. I, mean, I, I can't hook guarantee up. that's not going to stay in service. Well, since I'm in a pinch and Sam has his shop available, I got a portable oil lift drain from Harbor Freight. And was gonna and I'm gonna donate it to the shop because obviously this place is gonna get used for all kinds of car things. So. 
Let's get this thing unpackaged and put together. Before we pull the transmission on this car, we are gonna weigh it because if I'm gonna get the converter tightened up, I know they're gonna want the weight of the car. So before we get this thing pulled, we got this really awesome digital scale set that I borrowed from my brother. He doesn't even, he actually doesn't know I borrowed it, but I am. And I'm gonna get this thing weighed up. Let's see what she's at. All right, do you have any guesses for the weight of the car? 3320. 3320. Your guess is? I'm gonna say 2950. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna <laughs> All right, all right, let's let's roll her back on the scales and see where we're at. Oh, all right, 2890. Woo. Yes, he's a lightweight, I love it. Wow. That's actually pretty great because the class for sick week, you have to weigh at least 2,800 pounds. <laughs> so that's without me in it, no gear, so that's... we're gonna be good. Looks like we have some 200 pounds of weight to get rid of. We can, always, <laughs> we, it's, we can do either way, add to or take away. We can, uh, yeah, we can take some of that weight out. We got lots of stuff we can take out. Lots of stuff we can take out. I'm happy with that number. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see the weight distribution. Looks like really it's 30 plus 28, so 58% in the front, 42 in the rear. Something isn't happy in the transmission because that is some so, dark transmission fluid if I've seen some, and that so is now, brand new. Does your uh, shop over, do they want you to bring the converter and the transmission? I think we should. Oh, most definitely, yeah. most definitely. But, so let's figure this out. If something's not happy. I don't know if it's the trans, the trans cooler blows cold, but I don't know what's going on. Man, it's dark. Yeah, that's too dark. That is, it's burnt bright dark. Yeah, it is. So we definitely know the transmission fluid's burnt, but let me show you guys what else we're figuring out because the car wouldn't go into first, but we're able to get it into first when we're underneath the car. Now the shift from first to second is pretty stiff. So, Sam and I are talking, we're thinking we still just pull the trans and have it once through, especially since it's burning fluid, but we do need to get this, uh, you know, this trimmed up right. So we're trying to figure out which hole to go in. We're probably gonna have to tap this back a little bit and see how that does us. Because this should be first gear. It's not lining up here. It's gotta go back to there, which is quite a bit of travel. So what we're thinking is we'll washer this bracket down a little bit so that we get better clearance here and hammer it in maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. but at least get the transmission out, rebuilt, and hammer this in, washer this bracket down so that we can get it into the proper hole and still have enough you know, cable here that's gonna be stiff and rigid and have us a good shift. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's keep moving. the transmission out of the car for probably the sixth or seventh time in 2021. Hopefully 2022 will bring us a little more transmission look. How's this looking up here? Looking well, pretty clean. One thing I want to ask you, and I'm going to ask you off camera on the thing, is uh, get you to give a touch here. Touch the inside of the crankshaft up there, the receptacle to this, with one hand. Feel that temperature of that? Yeah. Now feel the temperature of the snout. See how much harder this is? Oh yeah. Wow, that's a lot hotter. So I want to, I got a couple of questions to ask Steve down there. And, uh, you know, we did put a new uh, pump in the transmission. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I that just, is a lot warmer to the touch on know, the converter. You know, when you go and come into the snout on the end of the crank here, Oh yeah, no, I completely agree that there's a lot more heat in the trans than there is in the motor. It feels like there's a lot of... That's probably... An there's issue. A, lot of, a lot of heat in that converter though, too much, too much heat in that converter. I you, agree. If, if you feel that whole... The whole thing, the whole transmission whole is there. like that. Just, just feel that right Bro, around the outside. Even right here. There's too much heat there. I agree. Especially on this converter. Feel that converter right there. Just right up here. Right there, yeah. Ooh. That's hot. That's, That's really hot. 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 For, especially since we just drove it over from the shop. And, and yeah, and, and you've got a cooler too, so I don't know what the... The cooler's on. The cooler turns on with the water pump and the radiator. And what does it want to keep it at? About one... 
160, I didn't see the gauge when I came over, but I should have. I mean, is that about what we got it set at? Somewhere in the 160, 180 category? Yep. Yep. Hmm. That just seems awful, awful warm for that. It does. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just seems a little hot. So. I agree. We are also changing the oil on the car. Why not? Get a few passes, went fast, throw it on the street. It is time. I am staying on top of my oil changes with this motor. I'll tell you what, a lot more money involved with this one. <laughs> Learn my lesson the hard way. Change your oil, people. Now don't forget to always fill your filter full of oil before you put it back in, right? Why is that, Sam? Precisely because when the pump first comes on, what it does, it has to start filling up the system. Yep. Well, this oil filter right there yep. is the first thing to get the oil. Well, if it, if it takes all the oil to here, to the, and it starves it from the bearings, yeah. got a problem. Don't forget now, I'm the best at filling this up straight out of the I can. I heard that. That's what you told me before. Oh, we better wipe this down before we make sure that O-ring's not on there, right? Mm-hmm. I know a guy that did that, Kyle Loftus, uh -huh. from 1320. Exactly. Beautiful driveway, and he double up on his O-rings, <laughs> drove it out into his driveway, and he still and sees it every time it rains. Now that he looks, he says, I remember that. Okay. I don't think he'll ever do it again. <laughs> we learned from his mistakes. <laughs> now I'll take those. All right. Oh. Oh, he's the daddy, Morris. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Not a drop Look spilled. If oh. anyone thinks they can do better, you let me know. Oh. Valvoline VR1, I am not sponsored by them, but this is what we use, 20W50, uh -huh. and uh, K&N HB 1017, I think it is, the filter number, so we'll this it. is what we run on our cars, all of us in the whole fleet, so works good, it's nice thick oil, and that way, you know, keeping it lubricated, <laughs> but you know what's interesting is in the helicopters, we use 100 weight oil, it's really thick, I mean, you take it out of there and pour it out, it's Man, thick that's, oil. that's molasses. Wow, that's right it's, is. It is. It's like molasses. Can can you put just a little bit more in it, just for me, just to make me feel better? You want me to put more in the filter? Yeah, sure do. Are you just trying to get me to spill no, on no, camera? No, 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 no. I'm looking out for the engine here. Let it go all the way to the top. Let it go all the way like that. No, let it come all the way up to the top. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. You want me to fill it up a little more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As full as you can get it, huh? Yep. Okay, let it settle down just a moment. Turn the filter sideways a time or two. Oh, and then I always put a little bit of oil yep, on the ring. Yeah, just a little bit on the ring. I like it. Ready to go in the car? Ready to go in the car. Okay, let's do it. So this oil had about, after we put the brake in oil when we first started the motor, mm -hmm. and then after we ran it, he cycled it a couple times, we put the VR1 in, be careful, that's open right behind you. Mm -hmm. And what, they did a couple passes in Gainesville, and then we had the Christmas tree race, and I drove it on the street a little bit, so yep. I'm comfortable with where we're changing it. It's it's time, you know, when the first couple of changes on it, it doesn't hurt a bit for it to go a little shorter on the changes. Hand tight? Hand tight. And then you bring in the heat and that little bit of oil you put on it, that's enough, it'll swell yep. up and seal the surface. Yep, I like it. All right. Talk to him at length about it. All right, well, we got the transmission wrapped up in the back of Sam's truck, ready, ready to go. go. Okay, let's see the shop. Well, here it is. Like I said, a little crowded, but we can start on this side here. So we got yeah. all kinds of welders. There's Stick, like one, MIG, two, TIG. Three, four, five welders here. Yep. And a, a little speed lathe over there. Yep. Sandblaster. Sandblaster. A little downdraft paint booth for small items there. Okay. And we've got an 18 to 60 lathe. Here. Wow, that is a and beautiful machine here. A couple of engines in process here. It's a old, old, old school 400 here. Old school 283. Yep. Uh, 5.7, 5.3. Yep. And a 6 oh. Okay. And Bridgeport. Yep. Surface grinder. Bay carbon press over there. Yeah, that press uh, is uh, beautiful. Engine here for us. A couple of pedestal grinders. Another surface grinder. And a couple of. <laughs> Sam, this is so neat. This is. It's, it, this it, is my dream. It's, it's so bunched up in here, but you can get around. You, you know? could do anything in here. Wow. And 
Right here. Is that your new baby? The reloader. Reloader. Right here. What are you reloading? Well, Nine millimeter? Oh man, we're gonna need a Sam's ammunition shirt. And then we got, uh, you know, there's there's all of the, got all the pieces for that. Plenty of, got plenty of stock over here for whatever. We got nines, 45s, and waiting on the dice to come for the 15s and the, and the 5.56s. Five, five, so. Tell me about that piece that you machined to within, uh, what was it? Oh. One one hundred thousandth of an inch, or what was it? Right here, let me show you, it's right here. This piece right here, this is this piece right here is certified to the, um, you send it off to the government, they've got their Bureau of Weights and Measures, mm -hmm. and they give you back a certification. This is this one is in 30 minutes of an inch square, this piece right here. Oh, wow. And it's sister piece here. Mm -hmm. This one is in about 55, about 50, between 55 and 60, it says. Yeah. I, I made these, and these and this, this v block wow this and, is really neat and these here made these so where did you machine this or how did you machine i was this? in a tool and die class in uh, asheville <clears throat> and part of the projects that you have you make your own squares you make your own parallel blocks yeah your own vice you make your own squares all that stuff on it and this is beautiful and it's required before you get out of the class for all that to be and you send it off for certification, and that's where we are. Wow. So it's Amazing. a uh, my teacher, Albert Awal. <laughs> oh, he's, he's quite the character. <laughs> and, oh. and for those I had made. Oh, wow. And took these out. Yeah. And then put the bushings in here, you know? Yeah. So it's just the updated ones on that. Mm -hmm. It's set here. And this one, that's just a, it's for a guy here, it's an old school 400. And it's the, it was a good box, a four volt block and all that stuff on the thing, but it's just the, it's old school stuff. Wants me to go through it and see what the deal is. Beautiful. This is amazing piece oh, and of this, machinery. This piece here? Yeah. Piece, you, you can, What's the uh, history on this? Where you did can you? put your, uh, say if you want to polish your crank, snout up here and yeah. then. You know, you got your number five Jacob's here on the thing. What's the story? Where? How long ago did you buy this? Oh my goodness. Uh, there was a fellow down in uh, Venice who was getting rid of a whole shop of stuff. Had a lot of these equipment in here. And at the price he had it at, he couldn't afford not to do it. So I said, okay, I'll take it. Well, the people that delivered this brought it to the little concrete pad outside and said, okay, there you go. It's as far as we can go. <laughs> so me and a board, <laughs> a four by four, put this in. Now that that's all compressed in one sentence, but we had to come down that wall inside here. Yeah. Turn when it came in here. Put it down through here. Wow. It took me all day to do it because you can only move it just that much at a time. Oh my time. gosh! What a beautiful piece of machinery. Two hundred pounds. Yeah. When we got it in, I just laid down beside it and I said, "I don't know who's won." <laughs> Man. But there it is, and it does well. It does extremely well. I've got a lot of features on it, but all this stuff is used for if you're doing, say, prototypes of stuff. Yeah. Is, uh, but then the one back there in the back, the, uh, the Haas machine back in the back, after yep. you get one done, it's only a three axis, but we can, later on we'll get a five. Yeah. And got all the support equipment for this. Well, Garrett's got a five, doesn't he? Isn't that one a five mm -hmm. or is it a three? Five. Yeah. Five. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what it is on, you, you've got three on the head and then two on your table. So you can, like say in doing heads, and I don't know when you're sure, like say if he's gonna do heads like this over here. Yeah. So these LS style of heads. It lets you, you know, you, you can do the port with it. Of course, the inside and the chambers now it's a dirty engine here, but it, right. it allows you to do that complete port job on the head and no hand stuff with it, which is pretty nice. That is pretty, pretty nice. nice. Very neat. This is everybody's dream, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, and we get you can get out here and while the hours away. Oh yeah, you can. You can get lost in time. And we got music. It's old school, but we got music. You know what I mean? So you can get lost in time out here. Oh, There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Yes, right here. And just uh, turn the music on, shut the doors. And we've even got air conditioning. Oh, hit, yeah. Hit the little button out over there. Yeah, beat that. that. And I'm sure you know where everything is at in this shop, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 junky looking because we're waiting to get 
put it all back in, in the other shop. Back Are you going to move all this into the new shop? Yeah, a lot of Because I'm going to leave this right here will be the engine assembly room. This room here. The clean room. So back there will be to work on the cars and we're going to assemble an engine and do it here. Yeah. But uh, that's, that's kind of the plan anyway. So as soon as we've got it all moved out there. Beautiful. The assembly room. Amazing. Well, thanks for showing us. I love it. And then, you know what's out here? No, I don't. Oh boy. This. And this the is compressor. the compressor. And the compressor. compressor. Oh man, this is the real deal, and isn't I'll it? Even, I'll even turn this to the line. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we Wow. So what's the deal? I sold this to a guy and he wanted me to fix up a few things on it for him. And I said, sure. So I've got to have this done pretty soon. There's only a couple of small things to do to it. And then it's all his. Wow. But it's, it's the real, it's the real deal. It's a real DZ 302 engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got all of the correct pieces for it. It's of course a three pedal car and it's, it's a real 69 Z28. Wow. All this stuff. Man. Wow. Amazing. Lots of, lots of big box stuff scattered around. And you've got a zero turn motor back here. Lots of big and small boxes. This car has been repainted, hasn't it? That piece was, yeah. That piece. Have you ever noticed on these how they always do this? They always mess up the paint around the corner here. Always. Every single time. Always. Look. Always. You can always tell if a Camaro from this era has been repainted. Take a look at these. Fence oh, yeah, here, right and they here. always right mess it up. Because it takes a real, 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 real good painter to fix that to where it's like the factory stuff. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Still a beautiful car, nonetheless. It brought brought the money on, and I was happy for it. <laughs> I was happy for it, but uh, but there's lots of oh, here's a it's covered up. It's a four L eighty E. I was telling you about this uh, that Steve had done down there. Yep. The cooler and everything for it. Yep. I'm ready to go. Amazing. Get, get the shopping operation and we'll have all of this. We're up in a fixed wing and we're about to practice the stall maneuver. Let's see. There's the warning. super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare, except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.